talking about Imo and Delta, um, these are two states that represent the southeast and the south south. I you know I've been a very strong advocate of the unity of the southeast and the south south. Uh, because if we are united culturally, if we are united politically, if we are united economically, the sky is the limit for us and we'll be the leaders in this country. Um, alone, we might succeed, but together, we surely will succeed. So I've always advocated this unity between the South East and the South South. And I hope our traditional rulers will unite at this level. Our political leaders will unite at this level. Our economic leaders will also unite at these at this, uh, two levels. Now, we have challenges, there's no doubt, in these uh, two zones of Nigeria. Um, we have challenges of uh, security, we have challenges of economic development. And I must say that I've always also been an advocate of a Southeast that has six states. Um, right now, there are five states in the Southeast. And if any states will be created at all in Nigeria, I've advocated that that state should be in the Southeast, so that at least the Southeast will have six states, like the other zones of uh, uh, Nigeria. Now, talking about the, the security challenges, um, the, the biggest challenge facing us now is the challenge of kidnapping. And um, I must commend my brother, Governor Krocha, who is doing a lot to reduce the incidence of kidnapping in Imo State. Uh, we're also doing a lot to reduce the incidence of kidnapping in Delta State. Now, the way kidnapping is now, it doesn't seem to have border. That is, there's no Imo border for kidnappers. There's no Delta border for, for, for kidnappers. And that also means that all the states in the southeast and the south, uh, south uh, where we still have kidnapping, we have to work together. And uh, because it's a security issue, we cannot come out publicly to see what we are doing. Uh, but in private, we are working together to ensure that we we'll eliminate the problem of, of kidnapping. One of the strategies of eliminating the problem of kidnapping, which we can say openly, is the issue of economic development. Because we do believe that if our youth are engaged, the pool that will be left to be recruited to into criminal activities will be very, very much reduced. So we are doing everything to ensure that our youths are engaged. And I must commend the governor and the people of Imo State, because right there in Delta, we are talking of Delta beyond oil. We are also talking of Nigeria beyond oil. That means we are looking forward to an economy of Nigeria and the United States that is not relying entirely on oil production and looking at other areas. We know Imo people are industrious. We know for years they have been doing other things that are not related to oil to ensure that they have a, uh, an economy that is properly developed. I want to encourage the more people, I want to encourage the governor to continue to sustain this area of development that is not dependent on oil. Yes, it is good to have oil, but we must look at other areas of the economy that is not dependent on oil. So that at the end of the day, when we do not have this oil, our economy is still very much sustained. I want to encourage you to do that because we are also embarking on, on that um, uh, type of uh, economy. So once more, I want to wish you a happy new year and congratulations to new people. And please, Imo people, support your governor. I think in your governor, you have a material that can take you very, very far in Nigeria here. It's, it's so humble enough that uh, it can even serve at any level. Uh, but it's a material well known in this country well known outside the country, um, you, that is a big advantage. Somebody who is well connected and can build bridges across Nigeria and across the world. It's a big asset to the state. So please continue to support him. Continue to give him the maximum support that he requires. Because he requires your support to succeed. So once more, congratulations and God bless you all.